Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number 7. And we're going to go in here and do a live scouting. Uh, I have not gone in. I don't know what the defenders look like, but we're going to do that together. All right, so as you can see here, we're going up against an alliance called Legendary Warriors. All right, so I haven't selected my team yet. So we're going to go and spectate and see what we got going on here. Uh, also note that we are now tier three. We were doing tier four wars. Uh, so the nodes are going to be a little different. All right. So right off the bat, I see that there's no defender on that first node. And now I got to fight a warlock. He's not really that difficult to fight. Um, so I could bring in, you know, Claire, she can handle it just fine. Omega Red won't handle that fight all that great. So I would uh, either fight Warlock with Claire, uh, or I might bring Warlock and uh, fight Warlock versus Warlock. All right, and then you've got Dr. Doom as the mini. And uh, see what the node is again here. All right, Strike Counter, Fury. All right, and Power Drain. All right, so... I can possibly take that Doom with Omega Red if I bring Omega Red or uh, Nick Fury if I bring in Nick Fury. And I'm thinking of bringing in Nick Fury uh, as well as uh, Claire. All right, now let's see. We've got Apocalypse and we also have uh, Man-Thing here. Claire can possibly take Man-Thing if they need uh, me to take him. Uh, the Apocalypse, he's on that Mixed Master node. Not sure about that one, uh, but we'll see. And then we've got Man-Thing over here. Uh, again, I might be able to take him with Claire. Uh, we'll see. And then we've got Emma Frost here. And following Emma Frost, we also have Sentinel. So, I am actually looking and thinking of bringing uh, Corvus. Corvus would get the tech charge from that warlock. And then he would get the mutant charge from Emma Frost. And uh, he would also do well against that Iron Man Infinity War. So that might be the team I bring in. I might bring in a uh, Claire, then um, Corvus, and then maybe Warlock. Uh, Warlock could also help fight the uh, man thing as well. Yeah, okay. So then we've got these minis over here. Uh, now, if I do bring in Nick Fury, uh, I wouldn't bring in uh, maybe Warlock. And uh, I could possibly bring in Claire, Nick Fury, and um, Corvus. If I did that, see these minis, uh, Corvus would, would do better against that Killmonger that you see up there. Um, he might also be able to handle that Iron Man Infinity War there, maybe. Depends on what shape he's in uh, when we get there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, gotta make a decision. This is what I usually do before you guys uh, see the uh, war video. Uh, so, like I said, I'm tempted because I can get uh, these charges for Corvus. Uh, this node here. Yeah. Yeah, Corvus would uh, do that one. Sentinel. Yeah. Corvus would actually do good for... Uh, both the paths right here. And I can always bring in Claire. And... 
Nick Fury. Now, Nick Fury won't do well. Let's see. Yeah, Nick Fury won't do well for Warlock. He'll do well for that Doom, uh, the first mini there. So Nick Fury could take him. Uh, Corvus for the Warlock. Claire, if I'm needed, for the man thing. Uh, Corvus again for Emma and Sentinel. Possibly, if needed, uh, the Iron Man Infinity War. Yep. So I think that's the team that I'm going to go in with. Corvus, Claire, and Nick Fury uh, for this war. All right. So we'll be back. I'm not going to do live fighting, uh, but uh, I'll narrate over it, commentate over it uh, later after uh, I get the fights done. All right. So we'll be right back. All right. We're back. And you can see the team that I decided to go in with, as I mentioned earlier in the video. All right. So we're going up path three in section one. And as you saw, no defender there. And we're going to be fighting this warlock. All right. So that's going to be a mission for Corvus. So Corvus is going to be hitting much harder after he defeats this tech. All right. So now I'm boosting up mainly because I have these things about to expire. I have a bunch of them. You can see I'm capped out on them. Got to start using them. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Um, no reason not to use them. In fact, uh, after I finished Cavalier uh, for the month, I went and got that offer. And so I have a bunch of revives, level three revives at that, uh, and 30% boosts attack and health. All right. So strategy with Corvus is pretty straightforward. You know, I'm doing medium, light, medium attacks uh, because I'm pretty sure I can take him down uh, without running out my charges. Uh, if it was a longer fight, uh, I would have done a little bit differently. Now, the thing about Warlock, who's annoying, is you'll see I wasn't able to get to my special two. That's really annoying. So you see here I'm backing off uh, medium light, medium again. I'm gauging uh, where I'm at. I'm watching his health bar and my charges. And I'm like, OK, I think I can get it. Yep, there we go. All right, so there's a constant watching and, and getting a feel for how many charges I have left and whether I think I'm gonna be able to do it, how much damage I'm doing currently, and do I have enough damage to take him out before my charges run out? Because running out of charges, no bueno. Do not like it. Um, but we're at the uh, mini boss here, and usually when they don't put a defender, I feel like I should take the mini, especially if I have someone for the mini, and you can uh, tell from the beginning that I'm thinking about the mini. Uh, before I go in. All right, so we've got Nick Fury putting some nasty bleeds on him. Don't care about my uh, special attacks. The bleeds will be it. Uh, this is why I don't run Mystic Dispersion and instead I max out Deep Wounds. I no longer max out even Despair. It's because of this guy right here. I was using him a lot. Now, the reason I did not finish that combo is because I had that shock debuff on me. All right, when you have a shock debuff on you, if Nick Fury does his heavy attack, you get stunned and you're gonna get hit. So what I do uh, is when I do have the shock on me, and by the way, you get the shock by hitting into him when he has his aura up and you have a buff. There's a chance that it'll get nullified and you'll get a shock debuff in its place. So instead of just staying away from him all the time, I attack him even when he has the shield up I don't try to knock him down when he has the shield up or the aura up. And what I do is if I do get a shock debuff on me, I don't finish my combos. I'll do three hit, four hit combos and back off. And usually, more often than not, he's going to hit me or try to hit me. All right. So now this war was going great up until this time. So as you saw, I was doing quite well. And I looked over here, and to be honest, I went into this fight unprepared. 
looking at the nodes and all of that, but I don't have enough practice fighting man thing on this node. All right, so I brought in my Claire, six star, rank three. All right, so I'm looking and I'm like, okay, you know, he's got a little power gain, that's fine. Uh, we're doing all right here. And then he parries me. And I'm just like, oh, come on, really? But I'm okay. But then I'm like, wait, he got a special three. What in the world? And then I couldn't hit him. So let me tell you what happened right there. When I saw that he got to a special three, I panicked. I fired off a special two because I saw that I was in my poison, Curse of Play, which would have uh, gotten his um, power under control. But he blocked it all because I hesitated a little bit and he was able to block. So I ate a special three, but I'm alive. All right, and I'm like, okay. So I rotated back to a special, I mean, uh, to my Curse of Blood. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get that special uh, two off and heal. But instead, it switched me. Remember, I've told you guys before that I have that problem. Sometimes it reads as a, um, a light attack. All right, so this should have been me healing back up. And it wasn't, okay, and I didn't even notice it. So I got the special two off, but it was not what I was intending. So now I know that I'm in Curse of Plague, okay? So I'm just like, all right, we're staying here for a little bit and, you know, keep his power under control because he's gaining power like crazy. See the backup recovery? We got the uh, special two off, um, baited that out, and we're okay now, okay? So I'm like, all right, you know, this should be good. See, I'm, I'm rotating now, uh, trying to get into the Curse of Blood. Got it. Healed up a little bit. All right, we're gonna get this back under control. And you can see I'm just blocking. I'm not trying to evade, just blocking. And then he's back up to a special three almost. And I'm like, okay, what is going on? All right, so we uh, baited that out. And uh, so now I'm like, okay, we're back good. All right, and then boom, he just got chunks of power. And I'm just like, what is going on with this node? Oh yes, pilfering and all that good stuff. All right, but we almost got him. But then I evaded, gave him power. Now he's got another special three. All right, so I'm just like, oh, I don't believe this. All right, boom, but I'm alive. All right, so I'm good. I'm like, okay, I got it. Why did it dash back, guys? That frustrated me so much. The reason that I died there was because I parried and went for the attack so that I could fire off a special two, and instead it dashed backwards. You see me sitting here for a little bit, right? I am ticked because I had this. I had this fight. I was fighting. I ate two special threes. I had it. Now, if I had to do that fight again, uh, I would probably pop an invulnerability boost. Now, this, I'm already tilted, right? I want you to watch what happens next. This was ugly, guys. Now, I'm already upset by what just happened. You know, I should have won that fight. The war is extremely close, okay? It is very close, and I just died, all right? Instead of waiting for people to, to tell me to fight, all right? And then I'm looking here and I'm like, oh, wait. And I realized my mistake right after I started. Look at the health. Look at how much his health is going down, okay? It was a mistake. And so when I saw this, I'm just like, all right, let me see if I can just do, um, you know, uh, a, a little bit of damage, maybe a special two uh, and, and see what I can do there, right? But nope, he's just, he won't fire his special. Now he's got a special three. I said no. So that's when I had technical difficulty, force quit. Yes, it does mean that that was another death. So that was two deaths. But at least I saved my Corvus because I knew I was gonna need my Corvus here. All right, so as you can see, I lost health. They got an extra kill but I at least saved my Corvus and I didn't have to use a revive. That's about it. But I was tilted after that, man.
And all I was trying to do, I was like, let me let me get a special two off. Maybe I'll be able to get him with a special two. But he wouldn't fire his special. He just kept on, and I'm trying to evade and evade. Now, some people that do that fight, they will take off their dexterity mastery, which is a good, good shout. Uh, and I did not. Like I said, when I went into that fight, wasn't really prepared. And what I was thinking with Corvus was, okay, he just has a little bit of health left. I'll just quickly, you know, get him down. No, not against Man-Thing. That's really a good placement for Man-Thing. All right. Now, my Black Widow, as I said, could have done it. I almost did it. But that man at the end, I should have just stopped and told them, look, I died. I'm sorry. You guys, uh, you know, let me know, you know, if somebody else has a better option. But uh, it did make me feel just a little better that even after that, there were some people that had some issues on that fight. So it, it was a, a tough fight. OK, uh, when he's low health like that, um, he's even tankier than normal. All right. Um, so anyway, we got past that. I'm still not feeling good. OK, I'm looking at the war and it is really, really close. OK. And I'm thinking that I just lost the war for us, all right? Um, and nobody could convince me otherwise. So I'm going in here now thinking to punish myself. All right, you saw that I boosted up. And I am going to go in hard. I don't care. I am not dying again. I just want to just go and clear my path and uh, practice cautionism. Now that kind of ticked me off, but that was my fault. Um, like I said, I was not playing in a good frame of mind. All right, but we got her down without, you know, too much difficulty, just kind of forgot about the reverse controls and dashed uh, a regular uh, when we should have inverted our dash. All right, now we've got Sentinel, all right? And Corvus, just with that little bit of a mess up, is now low again, but cool. I'm gonna go in and I know how to fight um, Sentinel, all right? So he's got that protection, which is something new that I have to deal with, all right? So now I'm like, oh wait, what did I read? That's right, you can intercept to remove it. So boom, intercept, all right? So I'm backing off, all right? Trying to get that intercept, all right? Trying to dash back, okay, trying to get him to intercept. Nope, he won't intercept, I mean, he won't attack. All right, nope, he dashed back again. He's playing coy. All right, he's got a special now, and I'm running out of charges. All right, so now again, I'm like, come on, we gotta get this uh, uh, out of him. All right, boom, got that, boom, got that, boom, got that. All right, now we get the special two. Boom, all right, I'm like, okay, good. Let's do that again. You see how I waited right there? Uh, and I didn't attack because I don't want to use up all my charges. Okay, boom, got the intercept. All right, let him get out that special. Get it out of his system. All right, we're going for intercepts. All right, nope, he didn't attack there. Okay, back off a little bit. All right, got the intercept. Got the intercept. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't get the intercept. All right, come on. Yep, intercept. No protection. Boom, boom, boom. Still not dead. And I have no more charges. But he's almost dead. So that was a fun experience right there, okay? Um, protection wasn't something that I was very familiar with because everybody chose stubborn all the time. And so this protection, you gotta be careful because as you saw, you know, he was a metal champion and I was doing a lot of damage with Corvus. So he was getting those stacks of protection. And uh, the one way I knew to remove him was to intercept, which is, a dangerous thing to do. So again, uh, I am like, I am not dying. We're going up against this guy. Uh, now, if I remember protection, as you see here, um, it only applies to, I think, large, extra large. So I'm thinking, okay, we should be good here. I stopped, rested up, tried to get back into a good frame of mind. You can see I'm using up more items than I usually do, right? Um, it's kind of my own punishment. I've been saving these up, but I am not dying again, folk. I said, no, not going to do it. Don't want to do it. 
Um, so you can see here, I'm boosted up. And uh, uh, let me see, what did I do? I think I did. Yep, advanced power boost uh, to try and beat the uh, strike counter power rate or combat power rate or something like that. All right. Uh, don't know if I need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. That buffet, all I'm thinking is to uh, basically out damage it. That's that's my goal here. Now, back in the day, Corvus was a beast against Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, I was undefeated on the old map. All right. So here we go. You know, that uh, advanced power one I already got suppression, but boom, got the special two off. Look at that. Almost back to a special two. Thanks to the power boost. All right. So now we just need another one. Come on. And I did a 150 if I remember correctly, not the 200. All right. Look at that. Got some more power. Boom, boom, boom. Easy peasy. Down. Yeah. Corvus is a beast when he is boosted up. All right. Now, the reason that I was able to uh, bring this Corvus in, you'll notice that it's my five star, uh, is because Alliance Quest was down at this time. I could have still brought in my um, uh, my six star, though, uh, which I might do. All right. Now, I waited here, and as you can see, the other minis are down. So at this point... I was asked to just get Void down. Now, I looked at our score, and it is very close. I cannot express to you how close this is. We're not completely out of it. There's still a chance that we can win this. But when I'm looking there, we are down by a little bit, okay? So even though I want to get this down, I'm mindful of the attack bonus, all right? So I'm like, all right, I'm probably going to die, but the plan is to die only one time. One time for your mind, all right? So um, I boosted up a little bit here, all right? Um, let me see, yep, um, I did a little uh, cosmic boost, and I'm trying to remember, yeah, uh, this didn't go as well as I was hoping uh, because I actually was going to try for the one shot because, you know, of course, Corvus can't die and I put on the uh, power boost. So I knew I was going to be losing health and that in the end, I was going to have to play a good intercept game or something, you know. All right. So you see here, I should have done maybe an advanced power boost, to be honest, because I would have been at a special two at this point. All right. And so here we go. And I'm just, I'm, I'm going, right? All right? So, got to stay away from him. Evaded that. All right? And I'm just trying to get to a special two. Just trying to get to a special two. And then that happened. He pounced on me. I was like, no! Because that could have been a one-shot. If I had put on an advanced power boost, I would have been at a special two, and I would have got it. So now I'm really feeling sick. You know? I didn't want to die again. Now, of course, with this one... I went in kind of expecting to die, but hoping that I could get the one shot. So now I just went in and I said, all right, Nick Fury, I still, you know, got a little bit for Nick Fury here. All right, boom, now the real Nick Fury is out. We're doing some damage. Now it's a race, all right, a race. Can we get him down? We got him down. All right, so now we're gonna have a little intermission and we'll be back. And you're going to find out how this war finally ended. And we're back. And surprise, surprise, we actually won this war. Look at the score, guys. We won by 20 points. I told you this war was close. And we honestly thought we had lost it. All right. So it came as a surprise. We were like, wait, a couple of people asked, how did we win that war? Well, they left up a defender for one thing, uh, and that really made a big difference. Uh, they got us on um, the attack bonuses. They had more attack bonus than we did, but 
someone who may or may not have itemed out got roadblocked by one of our defenders and left that defender up, okay? And that lost them this war. Now, it was a close call because in one of the other battle groups, because they thought we had already lost this war, they weren't going to go for the attack bonus. You know, they, they were going to, you know, just not boost up and just go in and just get them down. But they boosted up and got the attack bonus. This is a team effort. If I had not gotten that um, void down in one kill, we would have lost. If uh, our boss hadn't gone down in a solo, um, I think uh, one of the BGs uh, soloed the boss, we would have lost. Just one extra kill. One extra death, and we would have lost this war. That's how close it was. So this was my worst war, but we won. We are still on a winning streak. We've only lost one war this season, the first war of the season. And I would have felt, honestly, I would have felt horrible if we had lost this war because I shouldn't have gone in there after that man thing. All right. Even though I could have pulled it out if it wasn't for that little shenanigan that happened, I shouldn't have been fighting him. OK, but I did. I should have uh, just waited and discussed it and someone else would have come in with a much better option for him than I had. But I thought, honestly, that my Black Widow clairvoyant could have done it. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.